Hi right, guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're down a different location today and we're going to go around foraging and see what we can find. Hopefully, we can find a lobster on the lower part of the tide. But fingers crossed, we might find a spider crab, some clams, we don't know. It's Smash Fishing! Woo! What I'm going to be doing first of all, I'm going to chase the tide down. So we got a 0.6 tide today. So all of the lobster holes on this beach are going to be uncovered. And hopefully we get a lobby. Quite excited for this one. We've got a beautiful day. Absolutely stunning. We've got a little onshore breeze. And hopefully we can get lucky. First clam species of the day. That's the cockle. I'm not going to be keeping any just yet. This beach is flooded with them. We'll see how we get on with the lobsters and the crabs. Hey ho, what a beautiful day. That wind's coming right in from the east. So I apologize for any wind noise. Hopefully we can find something cool, baby. Spider crab there that's recently molted. Little baby one. Get a lot of that this time of year. What I'm doing is heading down to the pools now. So that tide's really racing out. I'm gonna try and target the lobster holes. No lobsters yet. Plenty of cushion stars around. Absolutely masses of them. What I'm looking for is those larrys, baby. That tide is really racing out now. And as you can see, we've got a really sandy boulder bed. And that is always ideal for lobsters. I've got a few holes in this area that I know of, so I'll be targeting them as soon as I can get to them. Hopefully we can get a larry out of it. But for now, what I'm doing is just going underneath the rocks like this, where sometimes you can't even see if there's an entrance. But if you move around with your hook and you'll find it, it will go right underneath. And sometimes the lobsters will just shoot out the other end. <laughs> all of this ground is gonna get uncovered by the tide soon. So I'll have better access to all these rocks. Got a hole, I got a hole in my waders, so <laughs> makes it a bit difficult. Some lovely sized holes around here. Check that one out. Nothing in it though. lady crab down there oh, that's quite a big one <laughs> holding on to the hook there you go <laughs> nice to find a couple of lobbies come on mate let go there we go get off and he's off big old lady crab The remnants of a spider crab there. I expected to find a few in here and I uh, haven't found one live one yet. It's quite surprising considering the spider crabs are in. Come on you crabs and lobsters, where are you? Got a lobster guys. <laughs> First lobster of the day baby. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be inside. Hell yeah. Lovely lobster that one. I was just fiddling around underneath the rock. And look at that. That's dead in as well. Beautiful, we got a lobster cook, baby. Don't lose it, Jake. <laughs> so there you go, guys. One Larry down and it's a keeper as well. I could feel it at the back of the hole and it was fighting my hook. So what I did is I tried to rake it out the side and it popped out and started swimming. <laughs> Lovely lobster. Oh, it's a male lobster as well. Lovely Larry. That's what it's all about, baby. Let's go get some more. I'm gonna start looking under the sandy gullies now. Absolutely buzzing. I was running my way around the tide edge there, just trying to find a spider crab, but I haven't found one. It's really surprising. And good old Larry pops up out of nowhere. In this beach in particular, we find a lot of small lobsters, uh, lots of baby ones, so you know the big ones are always around. Hopefully we can find another one. There's loads of holes here. Now that tide's gone out, 
I'm finding loads of dugout lobster holes. Check that one out. Nothing in that one yet though. We're just looking around, trying to find these big boulders like this. That's always the telltale place for a lobster in the sand beds. If you just look around, one side will probably be buried, but another side would go right underneath. And then once you feel the lobster, start nicking the hook. Right, they're quite aggressive when they're in the holes. Nothing in that one. It's a baby one, guys. There we go, we got him. <laughs> That's what I was saying before. There's plenty of baby Larrys around here. <laughs> little male one there. One claw, don't pinch me. He feels a little bit soft, that one. So we're getting back as soon as possible. There you go. Another Larry down. Woohoo! We're starting to find him now. There we little buddy. Yeah, go straight back under there. There's so many lobster holes around this area. I'm surprised we haven't found more, to be honest. Got a big old Tom Pot Blenny here, guys. They're vicious little buggers as well. They will bite you. <laughs> That's a Tom Pot Blenny. Shouldn't be under the rock all dried out. I'll leave him there. Look like a quite a good lobster hole here. There's an entrance at the back. Check that out guys, I've just found my first spider of the day. <laughs> I was just underneath this thing and there's a lobster underneath here, I can feel it biting the hook. And then I just looked over and we got a spider crab. <laughs> we got a lobster and spider crab cooked today baby, hell yeah. There's a little lobster under here, I just can't get him though because there's two little tunnels that go through. And every time I go through this way he goes over there and then when I move he goes backwards. And hey ho. I'm happy with that. So I'll keep a spider crab, keep a lobster. That's plenty of food for me. When I first got here today, I really didn't think I was going to get much. But check that out. Get off my net. Got to keep a spider crab and a keep a lobster. That's what you call a forage, baby. <laughs> Absolutely chirping with that. Feisty little spider crab, considering it was laying on top of the rocks. <laughs> Get off there. There we go. Beautiful. Giving you guys a better show of it. That's what it's all about. Got a big spider crab, nice sized lobster, and they're both males as well. Perfect eating size. Ah, oh, I can't wait for this one. There's a drone flying over my head. <laughs> I was just looking here, guys, where that male was. I've just found a nice female spider. <laughs> it's all dried out and that's not a good place for a spider to be. So I'm just gonna pop it in the water and she can stay there till she's ready to breed. Hell yeah. Just looked in this hole. That's another lovely sized male spider there. So I'm gonna keep this one for Sam. <laughs> I think he'll enjoy that. Ah, hell yeah. Two spiders, one lobster down. Just walking along here, there's a small abalone just sitting on the side of the rock there. I've decided to look around this spot for a bit, see if I can find any more big spiders. What well, I need to ban these spiders off. I've got the bands that I took off the lobster in the last video, and uh, he's just crunched the nip claw on the lobster. So, <laughs> oh well. Got another spider here. Starting to find a few now, the tide's come right out. You've got couple of females fighting there's a little baby one and you got the bigger female <laughs> we don't want any of those just finding a sheltered spot out the wind where i can ban these uh crabs together uh they're crushing up the lobster i found a little sheltered spot here i think i've still got the bands oh, i do as well oh, i've got some tape uh, what they've done is crushed my lobster Shows how strong these critters really are. There you go, there's one. So what I'm gonna do is get, I've got electrical tape here. I'm just gonna band him. So the last thing I want is a crushed up lobster. <laughs> I've still got a little while before 
the tide will start coming up yet. So I don't want these crabs breaking everything up. Thing with shellfish, you don't want to dispatch it and make uh, when it's dead. You don't want to uh, keep it out in the sun for too long because it builds up bacteria. Well, it's going to be all right for a couple of hours, but just making sure. Got one there. There's a the lobster. And look, his claw got completely crushed by one of these spiders. And we got the other one. A couple of nice spiders here. The lobster's trying to have revenge. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Don't bite me. You ain't biting me, this way. I found another lobster before. But the uh, but it went right underneath the rocks and I couldn't get it. There we go. So that's all taped up. Got a crab moving the camera. So there you go, guys. They're all taped up now. Nice size lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna ban the lobster as well, actually. Oh, there's a few foragers on this beach today. There we go, and what I've got is a lobster band. I'm just gonna grab the claw, make sure it's closed, and that's it. That's one banded lobster. <laughs> there we go, now my crabs are not gonna destroy each other. There's a lobster in this hole, guys. Only a little diddy one. I don't know if you can see him there. There we go. Perfect miniature little lobster right there. <laughs> There's a little female one as well. Happy days. We're gonna chuck him back. We got no need for him. But great to see all the same. All these little lobsters will grow up for the future and we'll be able to feed on the bad boys. So it's like a perfect dog out mound here. Can't see anything in there, but with all the sand dug out like that, usually there'd be a lobster hiding somewhere. I don't know if you can hear that, guys. That's definitely a lobster. <laughs> there we go. Look how small that thing is. <laughs> That's the smallest lobster today. Check that out. What absolutely miniature little thing that one is. It's like a little prawn. <laughs> it's a little female lobster. So that's going to be one of our breeders for the future. Awesome. I love finding these little critters. So we're getting back. We've got no need for him. Being careful here, guys. I found another lobster. And it looks half decent. He's right in there. I've got to dig him out. Oh no, there he is, it's coming out. He didn't kill him. Oh, he didn't really there. <laughs> he doesn't look like a half, he looks like a half decent lobster this one. Alright, I'm going in. Check this out guys, I can see his back. I've got his tail. It's gonna ease him out. He's wiggling. Uh, come here. Got his tail. <laughs> I just went to the other side of the hole and I managed to find him. Come here, buddy. He's right here. And what they do is they wedge their claws in. 
so you're not able to pull them out. Come here. It doesn't look like a bad lobster either. There he comes. Come here. Gotta wiggle him out. There we go, guys. We got him. Hand caught lobster, baby. <laughs> That's what it's all about. What a beauty. Nice little Larry there. I don't know if he's in size or not. But I could just see the corner of him. Oh, it's going to be very close this one. Through the back of the eye socket to the back of the carapace. And don't get nipped. He's just out of size, that one. What a lovely lobster, though. <laughs> so I'm going to do chuck him back in his hole. That's awesome. We found so many lobsters today. Oh, come on. I don't want to pop your claw off, mate. Let it go. Let it go. There we go. He's off. There we go. Get back in your hole, big boy. <laughs> That's one other lobster down. We're on a mission. I've given up on the clam beds and I'm just working my way through this boulders and hopefully I can find some bigger ones. It's amazing how many lobsters are actually around at the moment. Springtime is always the best time. You find all the massive ones, you find smaller ones, and there's holes everywhere on this beach. Got another lobster here, guys. It's just sat in the hole here. See if we can just whittle him out. Here he comes. Being gentle because I don't I just don't want to break his claw or anything. Let's dig this out a little bit. Here he comes. There's little Larry. <laughs> Another little Larry. We're finding countless. That was a male, that one. It's nice to see that we're finding males, females, all different ones. That's awesome to see. We'll go back in this hole now. I just wanted to show you guys for the camera. That's why it's always good never to put your hook into the hole and ram it around or start raking too hard because you'll break up all the little lobsters. Got a lovely little place to cook here. And what I've decided, I'm going to keep both of these spider crabs for Sam. And I think him and my sister will enjoy a couple of spider crabs. And I'm going to have Mr. Larry Lobster. So what a day though. We've got two spiders and they're not bad spiders either. Just give you guys a show. I've decided not to go to the clam beds. Tide's coming up anyway. So there you go. Two spider crabs. And one nice old Larry Lobster. <laughs> so that's what it's all about, baby. Try and get a better hold of them for you guys. Check that out. What an absolute beast. So Sam will enjoy those two spiders. I'm going to eat this. So I'll just get set up and I'll show you how I'm going to cook it. I'm gonna cook this lobster guys I'm literally I'm just gonna steam it I didn't bring the garlic salt with me today so I fancy just I, I'm a big fan of seafood just as it is so what I've done is put some fresh water in the pan and just get it on the heat and that's all I'm gonna do really the lobsters are already dead now you can see his claws hanging off from the uh, spider crab <laughs> I put the spider crab down in the rock pools because I want to keep them alive as long as possible till Sam gets here. So what I do is get that to a rolling boil and then we get the lobster in. Woo! Usually I would dispatch a lobster just by putting a knife straight down the top there towards the head and uh, that would kill it. But this one's dead now. 
because it got beaten up by the spider crabs. <laughs> Took a bit of a battering today with the hand. I know everyone's going to moan about gloves, but this is how I like to do it. Uh, I'd always advise taking gloves, especially when you're pulling lobsters out of holes, because you will tear your hands up. Just a little tip. <laughs> always important, bring your first aid bag. Because what was happening as I was pulling that other lobster out the hole, uh, this is just from the barnacles. I didn't even feel myself getting cut, and uh, the barnacles just shred you without, without thinking. Uh, yeah, without you noticing. But uh, always bring a medical kit. I customise mine uh, ready for stitches, any sort of deep wounds and stuff. And what I've got here is just some spray plasters. Uh, I usually spray that over my hand, but I haven't got any antiseptic wipes for me. So what I've got is some antiseptic cream, and I'm literally just going to blob a load on there. And that will stop any infection. And you can just rub it in, any old how, it's all good. And then I'll sort it out when I get home. So it just shows how easily you can get cut up on the rocks pulling lobsters out. Uh, I do this all the time, so I'm very much used to it. And uh, because I use cameras a lot, and I don't like uh, gloves because I can't feel the creatures very well. But I'd always, I'll always promote people taking gloves with you because this will happen at some stage. The barnacles will catch you without you even noticing. And usually, when your hands are wet, you don't feel yourself getting cut until the next day then you start stinging. So just a little tip that would always help you guys. Bring a nice medical kit that suits what you're doing. If you're fishing and stuff, uh, having stitches and uh, the tape plasters, the spray plasters, it will all help you. And uh, the same goes for foraging. That's our water all nicely boiling now. And we've got a nice juicy lobster there. Get that in the water. As you can see, there's no thrashing or anything. And the lid goes on, baby. We're going to be eating good in about 10 minutes' time. It's amazing how good lobster smells. Even without no, no ingredients whatsoever. It's looking absolutely perfect. I'm just going to give it another two minutes. And then we're going to eat this bad boy. Can't wait for this. Got the lobster in the pan. I'm gonna use this as my plate. Oh, it's hot. I love how red the lobsters go when they're cooked. Check that out. Hell yeah. What a beautiful lobster that one is. Beautiful. Really hot. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit. Sneak a little claw off. So there you go guys, that's the nipper claw. It always comes out in one, really hot. Mm. I'm just watching the tide at the moment because I've got the spider crabs in a rock pool down there and the water's just coming up to it. I'll show you in a minute. You, you know the gauzeway that I came across before. It's all covered in water now. Shows, if you're going foraging, Please be safe, be aware of where the tide is because it is extremely dangerous and that tide, especially on the big tides, uh, it whips in. And when it does that, a lot of people have been caught out before. There's the big crusher claw. See all the juice inside, yum. Give it a good crack. Take that part of the claw out. And that exposes the meat inside. Wow, that's hot. Hot potato, hot lobster. <laughs> there you go. Look at the fresh white meat in there. I know some of you guys want a nice close up. That's what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh, you can't beat that. Go out on the beach, find a bit of food, have fun finding all different sorts of creatures. 
and you get rewarded with a nice feed at the end. But even if you don't get a feed, you know, it's just fun to get out there exploring, finding out where all the lobster holes are and finding spider crabs or squat lobsters, anything like that. What you gotta do, take the poo track out. Ooh, that's hot. There you go. There you go, guys. That's what it looks like when you expose it and you can just run your finger down and that falls out and it ends up nice and white. Beautiful. I'm gonna end up waiting for my spider crabs in a minute. <laughs> what a forage. And as you can see, all the antiseptic cream, they're only very small little scrapes, but they don't have sting in the salt water. You cannot beat fresh lobster tail. You don't even need garlic butter. Just lobster cooked like this. They've got their own sweetness. Mm. That's what the claw meat looks like. And you can just eat it up like that. Beautiful. So I won't leave you any longer guys. I've nearly devoured that lobster already. I'm just gonna pick around in the legs for 10 minutes and I go rescue my spider crabs. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. And we got Sam with us tomorrow. But when you see that video, I don't know. It could be in a few days after. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!